I should take a look at this contract when I have the time. Read through the details. Be closing in on the signal. The blight is worse here. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. heading southwest of Plainsaw. We've had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. Sounds like the Ataru could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. I'm here, as promised. But singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl. But I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out, throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of Many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself. And the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone. But Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you. As many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The... The fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. So 
So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osiram. It is our archers at the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we fought before. More vicious with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then, shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But, don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus has gathered. Outlander. The chorus is still deliberating. Take a moment to appreciate my wares, especially the honor. Forager. Aloy, wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plainsong? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. Won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. I'll never forget that explosion. Ezra sure got what was coming to him. Sure I am hungry. My stomach's growls are growling. Hey, Lord. You came. Aloy, I wanted to thank you again for saving my life out there. I know we don't have much, but I promise my rations will help keep your strength up in the wilds. I hope you know there'll always be a warm meal waiting for you here, Aloy. Thank you, Dane. It is a brighter day with you and Enough rations to trade if you need them, stranger. Please! The chorus won't meet with me. I don't know what else to do. How about you just start by telling me what's wrong? I'm from Riverhem, to the north. A few days back, I woke to the screams of my neighbors as Tanakh's rebels attacked. They were just scouts, but 
We barely drove them off. If a full raiding party comes next, we're not fighters. We're done for. I thought the chorus would help us. I thought we all sprouted from the same earth, but it seems an outlander is the only one who even listened to me. Would it be too much to hope that you'd stand with us in this fight? Regala's rebels, do you know why they're attacking you? You're asking why the sun sets at night. They are Tenox. They live to fight, as usual among themselves. But this time my village is caught in the middle. The rebels want to strip it of supplies to feed their campaign against the Western clans. If they're not attacking here, can't you retreat to Plainsong? An outlander might find it difficult to understand. All Utaru carry seeds that are planted when we pass. My people have planted many seeds in River Hymn's Grove, a gift from the Buried Years, which I believe Outlanders call the Red Raids. We'll never leave. We sacrifice too much. You said your own people won't help. The Chorus are supposed to speak for all Utaru, and normally I wouldn't question them, but they see outlying settlements like River Hymn as lost lands, no longer under Plain Song's protection. They won't even meet with me to discuss it. If I find myself up north, I'll check in on your people. I ask nothing more. When you reach the village, look for Q. He's heading up our defenses. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. Severe.
The grounds are closed, Outlander. has fallen. There will be no trials until we clear the invading machines. You want to hunt? Then hunt the machines that took the cordon down. Lovely to see you. Did you repair your boat yet? Outlander, hear me out. A word of warning? Avoid the ruins northwest of Plainsong. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. going. I guess that means the chorus is still in session. The people sing to soothe the chorus, to help them break their impasse. It wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony. I'm not gonna have to sing back, am I? Of course not. The singing will stop when we present ourselves. Are you ready? All right, let's go talk to them. Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it Zoe will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. 
We know of no spirit in the cave, only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the Outlander, ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? Oh. By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a point. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. <laughs> Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. around. Fighting in the fields ahead. Machines are stronger, deadlier than you. There's more than just one of them in the same land in that cave. Path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines. We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. Oh, 
Machines. Take them out. On your lead. Take the machines down! This is fine. That's the last one. Now on to the cordon. Let's go. Right behind you.
We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. shouldn't linger here. May the land gods forgive our trespass. Kind of wall made of light. Up Follow here. Follow your lead, Aloy. Cauldron door. <laughs> to understand what's going on in there, you're going to need one of these. Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, take some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I'll help. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before.
right behind you. So this is a cauldron, where machines are born. It looks like one, but if the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made here. They're being repaired, too. And the spirit you're after is in here? Minerva? <sighs> Maybe, but I have a feeling that's not all. takes over places like these and makes killing machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even the mountain is what looks like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. I'll find another path. Okay. What are those panels on the floor? Something. Looks like parts of those pillars are rotating. Maybe if I shoot the gears, I can lock them into place. Make a path up. set foot in here. But I had to. More 
pillars. Might be a way across if I can get them into the right position. Another floor panel. But I can't shoot the gears on the pillars from here. Maybe if I can find something to weigh this down. Should be heavy enough. I think I can get the crate through that shield. on the pillars should be exposed now. Looks like there are only two pillars this time. are all over that node. But maybe I can override it. The cables are moving. They're drawing back. We can climb up that vent. are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. We'll wait here. Get up to the node.
you two. Wasn't planning on 
on it. facilities before to build deadly machines but it wasn't always hostile it used to be part of something old. something called Gaia more of those cables covering that door I think they're almost at the core be ready 